Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I got another radio here from Jeff's Collection. This is a Realistic Radio Shack Deluxe AM FM Pocket Portable 9 Transistor. It's model number 12-632. It's about a 1967 to 1972 vintage. He got this off of eBay for $35 and it works well. So we're gonna try it out right now. So we're gonna open up the box here. The original box. And there it is. I don't know if it comes with this cloth or Jeff just included it. It comes with a battery which goes in this spot right here and the ear phone. Carrying strap, which is plastic. And there's the original manual. Alright. Now, let's see if we can get a close up here and get the... Uh, here we go. So it's got separate AM and FM tuning wheels and dials. And then down here is the on-off power. Telescopic antenna for FM. There is, and I don't, there it is. There is the band select AM or FM. And I'll quickly show you the innards. And I got to be careful because the antenna is strapped right there. There's the co close contact for the telescopic antenna. That's how it makes connection to the receiver. And then down right there is a Radio Shack battery. I don't know how old this is, but it looks pretty, it looks brand new. So it uses a 9 volt battery. Got a lot of stages. And so it's got two tuning capacitors. Okay, let's put this back on real carefully. And there's the earbud jack. And we'll come around to the front here. We'll turn it on. Pretty good condition. It's got one little crack right there. And that's it. Okay, we're going to turn it on. Should be on AM. Takes a little uh, while for those transistors to warm up. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's picking up RF noise from my workshop, no doubt. Turn the volume up a little more. Whoa, there it is. And it's music. So we gotta get off that. A little hard to tune. A little touchy. Once it gets on the station though, it's pretty strong. Putting a volume and it's not distorted. The RF noise from my off uh, workshop. There's plenty of volume. Okay, that's the top of the band. Now we have to go back here, switch the band to FM, and then I'll raise very carefully the telescopic antenna, which is quite short. It's probably 15 inches. And now we're going to tune with this tuner over here. And let's see where we at. 
Let's go down there. Now we're beginning, beginning of the band. I'm going to start taking those speech lessons, boy. Okay, we'll try to turn it real slow. That's good. Music, unfortunately. More music. More music. That's about all we're going to get on FM this time of day. We could have a number of stations. I'm going kind of fast. It's a little touchy on tuning on both of these sides. There, there's some speech. There you go. Clear as a bell. Speaker down here, of course. Okay, let's so go. Okay. Oh, lots of music. I'll go through the band pretty quick. There's so much music. Okay, that's the end of the band. Let's shut it off. There we go. Pretty good shape. Does have the plastic carrying straps that they had during this time frame. I hate these plastic carrying straps. Although they are, they do hold up pretty well. It's kind of, it's a little stiff, but it's not bad. It's usable. It's um, mm, probably pretty easy to remove if you wanted to. I don't like, like I say, I don't like these plastic ones. The cloth ones I don't mind, but the plastic ones I don't like. Got one little dent right there. Not bad. Otherwise, it's in pretty darn good condition. That's it. I want to thank Jeff for loaning me these radios to show to you. He's got quite a collection now and he's still collecting them. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, why don't you do that? I would appreciate that. And have a great day. Bye-bye.